Look at the packaging though. Formula features in oil in water. Okay, we're at the halfway point. You ready to see? Hey girl, welcome to Relay. <laughs> My goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. And today we're doing another dupe battle <laughs> with a brand that I've never tried before. Well, one of them I've never tried before. We're doing a battle between the new Fenty Beauty Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stain versus one of my favorites, the Maybelline Vinyl Liquid Lip Stain. This is starting to trend on TikTok and so I'm like, I had to try it. But then I wondered like, is it really worth the money? Or should, you know, you just stick to something like this? Let's find out. I'm gonna be dividing my lips in half, which is always one of my favorite things to do. I'll do the Fenty on the right and the Maybelline on the left. Like I said, I've never tried Fenty, so I'm super excited. For any type of lipstick like this one, I like to, well, first you gotta shake it up. I like to put on one coat, do not touch my lips, don't like press them together or anything like that. Let it dry completely and then do another coat. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the Fenty, so we're all fair. Great, starting off with the Fenty. Only putting lipstick on half my lips is not my strong point, so just forgive me if I make a little bit of a mess. Look at the packaging though, it's so cute. It reminds me of the Ariana Grande REM mascara, that's what it's called. Doe foot applicators, just a little, this little baby, so cute. According to Fenty Beauty's website, it says, splash on this lip stain that goes on glossy and then leaves it behind a soft tint, delivering instant hydration for an effortless, low maintenance look. This lip stain just hits different, giving you juicy, all day hydration. This lip tint formula features an oil in water innovation with squalene. I don't ever remember how to say that. Squalene, squal, I don't know. In a range of vibrant shades. Well, when she says range, she means four, but you know. <laughs> Blunt coat, hydration all day, feather and bleed resistant, locks in moisture and conditioned lips, customizable, a sheer to medium coverage. Okay. Like I said, it has four shades. It is $24. I have it in the shade Berry Banger because that was the one that was closest to my Maybelline one. Hey coach, I teach. I love that. Maybelline time. This is not as dark as this one. Just FYI. It is pretty dark, but not as dark as this. I tried. Okay. I, I really tried. <laughs> and then just a quick recap for the Maybelline vinyl. Their descriptions are so huge. Shake up your long wear with the Super Stay Vinyl Ink. This liquid lip color delivers a no budge saturated vinyl lip color for up to 16 hours of wear. It's color lock formula defies smudging and transfer. On coat. Swipe the formula across your lips and enjoy instant shine and all day color. Available in 10 shades. Make sure to shake it up before you use it. And it is, for the most part, $8.53 on Amazon. There's one shade that is $11. You know how that goes. You know, you know how shopping online for drugstore lipsticks is. It's really weird. Let's take out. Just hit myself on the lip. It is currently 11.49. <laughs> I have lots of thoughts and feelings already. Okay, the Fenty one, when you put it on, it's more similar to, where is it? Oh, here it is. The L'Oreal Rouge, is that what it is? Is that what this is called? My mind's going blank, whatever this is called. I hate that they don't put the name on the bottle, but I think that's what this is. And I'm like almost regretting not comparing it to this, but that's okay. Cause it's still similar enough to the vinyl that I'm like, I'll survive. But it feels just like water. It feels like you're putting water on your lips. It feels so good. You can't get the consistency 100% of the same. Some spots are gonna be slightly darker and slightly more pigmented than others, just slightly though. But that is a look and I love that look. I think it's like a very like effortless look. But if that bothers you, mm -mm, no way. It feels like nothing though when you put it on. When it dries down a little bit, you can feel it more. Barely, it feels like a light lip gloss. The vinyl feels very, very, very light. But if you've used it before, you know it's kind of sticky the first few minutes. Even after it dries down, that goes away. But that is a thing and having both sensations on my lips right now but one on each side really weird both are beautiful i love them both so far very excited that this is in my life at least right now but but if this doesn't stay very well, it's definitely not worth 25 bucks in my opinion. You should just get a drugstore lip gloss. That's my philosophy for forever. Unless it will literally last all day in one way or another, it's not worth more than 10 bucks. Mm -mm. Which I know that might make some people mad and I'm sorry. That's how I live my life. So now I'm gonna go about my day. I'm gonna do a check-in halfway throughout the day in natural lighting outside in this beautiful 100 degree weather. We're gonna see how long both of these last compared to each other. Will it transfer everywhere? Will there be any by the time I finish like my lunch. I might do more than one check-in depending on how things go. These lipstick videos, you kind of just have to play them by ear when it comes to like longevity and stuff. Like normally I test things out for 12 hours, but if the Fenty only lasts for like seven or eight, we'll just play it by ear. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, we're at the halfway point. You ready to see? Not awful, but not the best. 
especially compared to the Maybelline side, like it's really starting to come up on the edges. And like, I had the expectation based on what they described of maybe the really intense color would go away, but then it would leave a stain that's like lighter. I don't, I don't see that happening on the edge so far. Also, there's like this huge chunk that's coming off that seems like that's like a really big dry patch that I didn't have before, which shouldn't be happening with a hydrating formula. You see, you, you catch, catch my drift, see what I'm saying? I'm not giving up on it. Honestly, I really thought it was an all or nothing thing, like it would last all day or like it would be gone within an hour or two. So it's going better than I thought it might if it was gonna go downhill. I didn't like eat or drink anything for like probably about two hours after I applied it because I'm not the best at drinking water consistently. But this is what my mug looked like after I took a drink. You can see the Maybelline side, there's nothing. The Fenty side, it's not horrible. I wasn't expecting like a transferless lipstick, but it's not quite as good as I was hoping. It's kind of like an in-between. So we'll see what happens throughout the rest of the day. It's currently 12.50, so we're an hour late. We did 13 hours instead of 12, but that's fine. <laughs> Can you tell it's after midnight? And also I tried a new makeup technique and I kind of hate how it makes my makeup look. Anyway, the stain is basically the same since check-in, which is kind of impressive because I thought it would just like keep going downhill, but like it's, the outer edges look a little bit worse, but not that much worse. But here's the thing, compared to the Maybelline, where it's barely started fading on the inside, like just barely. And the shine lasts longer on the Maybelline? The Fenty Beauty, the shine lasted longer than I thought it would. With the way they describe things, there was still shine after I drank water, ate food, but by like the time it was the halfway point, the shine was definitely gone. I was expecting that. That was, I was okay with that. I accepted that. <laughs> but considering the shine lasts longer and the formula lasts longer, especially when you do it the way I do, where you like do two coats and you let it dry in between all that stuff, it lasts longer. Here's the thing though. This is something I always try to remember to say. Take into consideration, lipstick does not last as long on me as it does on some people. <laughs> like the NYX Shine Loud. That one, I was so disappointed in because so many people were like, it lasts for like 24 hours. No, that was not the case for me. Like, no. <laughs> the normal Maybelline Superstay, that one doesn't last nearly as long as me as it does on a lot of people. So that's something to take into consideration. This might last a little bit longer than on you than it does on me, but it still doesn't last as long as Maybelline. And the Maybelline one comes in more shades and the Maybelline one is $8 instead of 25. Do you see where I'm going here? I just, I don't think it's necessarily worth your money. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I would go with the Maybelline one or this L'Oreal one. <laughs> I just don't think it's worth it. I go by my philosophy, unless it's gonna last you literally all day, you shouldn't pay more than $10 for it. If you wanna see a video comparing the Ariana Grande REM Beauty Mascara versus the Telescopic Mascara, where there's like, this costs like twice as much, you can click right here. I'll link everything I talked about in the description box below. Those links are affiliate links, so I do a small percent of the profits if you use my link to buy the product, but it does not affect you in any way. I love you so much, and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye. Mwah.